sticks as you Hi guys, welcome to another P Carry 12 Productions. So we're going to actually go through the brand new AMD Radeon 5600 XT. So this is from MSI. It's basically got six gigabytes of VRAM. It's got a four PCI Express 4. And we're gonna actually take this and we're gonna stick it in an eGPU to see what the performance is on this brand new spanking new card that just came out a couple of weeks ago. So I'm gonna what now you're wondering what type of eGPU I'm actually gonna stick this in. Well, I'm actually gonna be sticking this in a Razer Core X. So this is the Razer Core X. We get to see what fun we have with this particular model. So I'm just going to show you what I've got and we're going to see how this goes. Right, so this is the Razer Core, this is the eGPU we're going to be putting it in, this is the instruction manual and all the power adapters as well as a Thunderbolt cable. So let's take a look at what it looks like. Okay, let's switch her on. And boom, we have screens. There we go, there is the 5600 XT connected to my Samsung display and this is in Mac OS so let's have a look and do some benchmarking for this particular one. First test is heaven in Mac OS. Okay we're running this to 1080p with everything set to ultra and extreme and all anti-aliasing on. Let's run the test. Right on macOS we have 55 frames per second and 103 frames per second at the maximum. So let's try it on Windows. Right, let's try this in Windows 10. So we're doing the exact same settings at 1080p and we're going to be using this obviously in DirectX 11. So let's run this and see what results we get. And we're getting considerably better performance here. So you can see we've got 64 frames per second and a high of 127. So Windows is doing pretty well on this eGPU. Right, as you can see, here is the comparison. Windows on the left and Mac OS on the right. 
So there we go. Let's try and test out 3D Mark now on Windows 10. Here is the latest version of the driver's capabilities of the ATX, uh, sorry, the 5600 XT, as you can see right there. There are the specs. So let's run 3D Mark and see how this test goes. Right, so there's our score, 5,345 for 3D Mark on Windows 10 on the eGPU. Let's now look and see what we can do with real games on the 5600 XT. Right, let's fire up my favourite game of all time, Rocket League, for this particular test. So we'll see how this gameplay looks. I'm going to set our settings at maximum at 25 60 by 1440 resolution everything high and maxed out so let's take a look at some gameplay Right, so that was Rocket League, and it runs phenomenally well. Now let's test out Grand Theft Auto 5. Now we're going to benchmark this. I'm going to show you what the specs are, and we're going to see how well she runs. Right, so we're going to max this out at 2560 by 1440 resolution. We're going to put this at the maximum settings we can put it at, um, ultra and very high, as well as everything else. So now I'm going to run the benchmark tool and I'm going to see how this thing runs.
look at Final Cut X performance with an eGPU with the 5600 XT so this is by far going to be just a master file export I'm just going to be using a very standard codec uh, as you can see in settings it's 4k export at h2 h.264 export and I'm just going to run a plain old export with this eGPU with the 5600 XT in it now the results, I have to admit, were surprising, but we'll get to those at, at the end. So as you can see right here, this is pretty much what the performance and the activity model uh, monitor is actually doing when I started the export. And you see it's ramping up on the AMD uh, 5600XT, as you can see right there, and it's actually running really, really quick than it has previously so we'll see what interesting results we see at the end here so let's see what um happens at the very end here and we'll get to the results right we're finished and let's take a look at these gpu ourselves and you can see it's definitely used the eGPU and did not use the internal card during that process Okay, let's take a look at the results and boom, we can see that the results for a standard 4K export in Final Cut X for the Radeon is about six minutes, which is insanely fast compared to the Radeon Pro 540, 455 at 60 minutes and the Intel graphics at a whopping 90 minutes. So we're looking at an incredible performance increase for sure. Right, at the end of the day, is it worth putting in a Radeon 5600 XT in an eGPU enclosure and connecting it to your laptop or any Thunderbolt 3 device? Well, from my testing and as well as the gaming in Windows and Mac OS, I would say with a resounding yes, definitely do it, especially if you've got a MacBook Pro uh, 2016 model. I wouldn't recommend it for the 2019 model because it has a powerful GPU in it as as it, as it has now but definitely for anything else definitely give this a go so this is paul don't forget to subscribe and like this video and i'll see you guys next time